And it's always great to have former National Hockey League net partner Peter Ng join us here at a broadcast location here at Fanfare in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, Peter, great to see you again. How much fun has this been for you the last couple of days? Oh, it's a wonderful experience. They, uh, we've, we partnered with the NHL since uh, Raleigh came into effect, and uh, it's been uh, just been growing since then. And we really love the relationship. It's nice being involved as a former player. And uh, it's such a such a wonderful feel-good event for yeah, all the fans. Explain to our listeners exactly what you're doing and, and the partnership that you have with the NHL. Yeah, so um, our, our responsibility is all the fan interactives. So when the NHL came to us, uh, geez, maybe four or five years ago, actually, they came with this concept of really taking the fan interactive experience to the next level. And we, uh, we built training facilities, and we took our training facility technology and added more lights and laser sensors and big screens and really took it to the next level. And they came, and, you know, as a former player, you kind of think, well, you know, is that how you got, I mean, at least from the outside, it's like that's how you got this, this uh, gig. But uh, couldn't be further from the truth. They, they sent a, a few guys down from the NHL. They went through all the interactives. And it probably took us another year before we actually contracted. But I think you can see now we have 15 interactive lanes here. Um, I, I don't think there's anything that rivals what, what we actually produce. And it's a big part of, of the show and the experience and the, the fan experience. We were talking, uh, of course, just a few months ago when we had you on the program, Peter, about your relationship with the endeavor that you've got going with Bryce Salvador. Tell us more about that for those that don't know. Yeah, so Bryce and I, uh, we... We got involved in the event business, the training facility business, and we've also now created portable products and pretty much anything and everything for hockey. And our, our main site is xhockeyproducts.com for the U.S., xhockeyproducts.ca for Canada. And we sell everything from a, pro, a puck to skating treadmills. And, uh, and what's different about us is we actually produce this equipment. And we have, as players, we have tacit knowledge, and we've applied that to the game. And uh, we really want players to get better and provide a vehicle for them to be able to get anything. And I don't know anyone that really is in the space uh, as heavily as we are. You know, as Bryce is still playing, we do camps. Um, we have the event business. We have our training facility business. We build training facilities. We build portable products for kids. And we sell portable products and every other product uh, online. So uh, it's a big part of of who we are as, as players and former players and, and how we want to get back to the game. But it's also fun being in the game. Like, you know, being involved and seeing guys that I haven't seen. I, uh, you know, Todd Rich is over across right now doing a, an interview. Yeah. And uh, we played together. And, you know, you just, you know, to see guys again uh, in all these different events and venues. And, you know, guys you played with, they're now like, you know, like you are in the, in the radio space and the TV space. And, and uh, coaching and general managers, and, and uh, it's, uh, it's awesome. How, how rewarding is it to see the, the kids do the interactives and, and the enjoyment that they get out of it? Because this is all about growing the game. This whole event is about growing the game, and it's about the kids because they're the ones that are going to be buying tickets and jerseys in the future. How rewarding is it to see them have the pleasure out of your own, uh, uh, your own stuff that you bring? Yeah, that, that's the, one of the best parts. It's a, it's a feel-good all the way around, and it's not just the – the kids but it's the, watch the parents with their kids and especially the you know their digital age we're in right now like everyone's got their cell phones going they're posting it right away grandma and grandpa are seeing it and you know it's just that instant interaction component and how you know you look at this is to us this is the world stage right there's not really many uh, fan interactive events of this nature uh, this big and this is why we wanted to do it and what we wanted to be involved with. And, and uh, I give Bryce a lot of credit as well. When you look looks back at some of the, the vision he had, you saw some of the events out there with a, you know, a cardboard cutout goaltender. Uh, it's great, but it was the step towards you know, more of an interactive event like today. Got about 30 seconds left with you here, Peter, before we have to get out of here and, and hand things off here. Uh, back in November, you had a chance to put the pads on again. Yeah, I know you were fearful playing that Hall of Fame game in Toronto at the ACC back in yeah. November. Are, are you still recovering from that? Yeah, I, I, fortunately, I'm one piece. <laughs> uh, I have some great pictures. Uh, I think I shared one with you. Uh, I have a, a nice uh, picture of a three on O. Yep, with uh, Dino Cicerelli and uh, Bernie Nichols and Joe Sackick. So that's the kind of game it was. Yeah, like I say, my groins are still in one place <laughs> and. Uh, 
like I said, I'm, I'm really happy to be involved. And, and like I said, if anyone's interested in looking at any of the equipment, interactives, or otherwise, xhockeyproducts.com and xhockeyproducts.ca. Well, you sent me a great promotional video. It looks fantastic for sure. We would invite fans to go out and check it out. Peter, great to see you as always. Thanks you. very much. Thank, Thank you. you.